While getting to Bimini was hard work and exhausting, we did get there. And for the first time ever, we raised our quarantine flag. We're the Red Knight Redcoats, and we're signing SV Fresh to Soda. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. After everything we'd been through, for the first time since October, we decided it was time to go into a marina, tie up, and have a break. I don't know. So over here is just the police station, that's where you go and check in for immigration. It's a big game um, fishing club is where you go for your immigration. Um, your best off filling in the click to clear um, before you arrive because um, they'd all do it electronically you can also pay electronically you just need to keep hold of the PCA number I think it is um, they don't accept well they do accept cash but you have to be there by a certain time otherwise you have to come back the next day to get your fishing permit so we're definitely going through those lows at the moment and to be honest, it's kind of getting to the point I'm really getting just so fed up. Um, our windlass went out, um, so decided, you know what, got nothing to lose, take it apart, put it back together. It seems to be everything that happens on this boat. If you take it apart, put it back together, it works again. But the more we take this windlass apart, the worse it gets. So. What we found was great huge chunks of graphite bushes inside as well as some kind of plastic housing. So I'm assuming this may have broken off and then caused the graphite um, bushings to shatter. Um, but it looks like they've, they've tried to repair themselves but when we emptied it out the amount of stuff that came out from inside um, in order to try and take it apart, we've broken a couple of screws. So, um, these quarter inch screws are probably about eight inches long. They actually, they go inside here and go all the way through. Um, and holds this housing on and this um, they go inside here and they hold this housing onto this plate and it actually screws into here and then screws into there so um, this morning one broke and then basically the other so and then on this side We've got to re-drill this. Um, they use some stupid little hex screws. I mean, why couldn't they have just used just regular um, bolts? I mean, it would have been so much easier and to replace. 
we've cleaned up a lot of this. There was there was so much gunk and dirt. The oil seals on this have, have gone out, and that's probably why there was so much gunk and dirt. But I can get all the fluid to replace it. It's just um, maintaining it. I have no idea where I'm going to get some screws that are this length to go in here. Um, so. We'll try, Brown's Hardware is the, the main hardware shop here, we'll try, they're closed on Sundays, so we'll try on Monday, but um, yep, I really could do with a break from stuff breaking right now. So we got the windlass back together, but still couldn't get it to work, so that was very frustrating. We're trying to see if we can source one and get it shipped to Birmingham right now, but um, things aren't looking hopeful because um, of the cost of the shipping. Um, um, a wonderful friend um, sent us a sizable amount of money to go towards one, so um, we're just feeling blessed but disappointed at the same time. So I guess it's all part of the ups and downs. So one of the dock masters has invited us to uh, try out some local food. Uh, this is a sweet old guy. Um, so the trail persuaded him if he cooked for her, she'd cook curry for him. So this is going to be interesting.
to do over the next couple of weeks to see how Stephen fixed our fuel and engine issues, what we ended up doing about the windlass, and how we ended up back in the United States five weeks early.